So we're doing this in two parts. Carly Red, just on camera. Your show doesn't come on until tomorrow. So we open with Drew. She's a real estate agent. And she's showing this heifer around Candy's house like it's for sale. Candy, the fact that this is your house and we can still see your family pictures of child, this is just so cheap. It's to be cheap, but hey, you got a peacock check, so I ain't mad. Oh, she's not a real estate agent. She does home interiors. Meanwhile, across town, we have what I guess is her fiance with, it looks like the heifer she gonna end up sleeping with picking out a ring because he probably gonna propose to her tonight. So he thought he was getting this big commission check, but apparently his boss is putting another agent on the deal so he ain't getting all that money so he can't afford the $200,000 ring. You better take your butt to Jared. You better head on down to Zales. I'm pretty sure she'd be okay with a $50,000 ring. Hell, 10 grand. Uh -huh. Back at the Heezy, Drew's mama asking, where's your rich bum? Is he consulting in Tampa? Keeping his Floridian secrets. Oh, the mama said, well, what kind of consultant do we do? He could be out there doing anything or anyone. Wait a minute, consulting? I thought he was selling real estate. He was talking about a mansion sale. Oh, Lord, this mother-in-law is annoying. Honestly, it's giving me more Heifer Joyce vibe. Oh, the mama's the heifer that took him off the mansion sale. Wait a minute, but you just asked what he did. Now you know he works. Oh, Lord. We are six minutes in, and I've already fallen into a plot hole. Tubi? See, I'm sorry. This shouldn't have gotten the peacock pass. This is why you don't film a movie in 10 days. See, the fact that Drew is putting up with the mama disrespecting her man like that, this is nothing but heifer Joyce. But Candy, why are you tolerating it is the question, because this is art imitating life. And for them to be touting Drew's acting like this, I'm sorry, I'm seeing the same heifer I saw on Atlanta. I I'm not being blown away. But then again, the writing, she ain't got nothing to work with. We are eight minutes in, and I can say this is awful. Awful. So now at the office, they've landed this new contract to do a restaurant interior for a celebrity. And we see that uh, the friend that was helping pick out the ring is also her business partner, and she's giving strong lesbonic vibes. Very Rob the Throb. Dixon. Oh. God, I mean, this is just really, Todd, really? You couldn't have done some test scenes and saw how itty shay this was? I am 10 minutes in and just the, it's gonna take long days and grueling nights. Do you think you and Maurice can handle that? Oh, I'm gonna have to go back to bed. So over with the men's is this, we golfing. And they start showing women's in their phone, and apparently one of the husbands has gotten a pass from his wife. But one guy says, okay, so while you're doing you, who's she doing? Oh, Lord, he says nobody, and they start laughing at him. Child, please, she been sleeping with your friends. Probably the one laughing the hardest. So that night, Drew and her fake man sit down to dinner. So she shares her good news about her restaurant gig. And he starts telling her about the conversation the boys had on the links. Oh, God. Peacock, don't you do this. Don't you put on one more movie like this. Don't you get in bed with Tyler Ferry. It wasn't a bad movie. Well, it sure ain't good. Candy, I, I just... You really touted Drew's acting. She's so good at playing innocent. I see a fake hussy. But before the talk can go any further, her mama called. The next day, she goes out to lunch with Candy and the girls. So Drew gonna say, Candy, you seem like you in a good mood today. Is it because your husband letting you get some different dick? And of course, Candy would be the heifer with the pass. Then again, Candy also has the gas because she told us about how she farted in Todd's face when he was putting his face in the place. Some things you should keep to yourself. 
So Drew's girls get her to think about giving her man a pass. Back at the Heezy, her mother drops by unannounced. Why that heifer got a key if she keep using it? Oh good, she giving that key back. So now her mama's yelling at her not just for marrying Ralph, or whoever playing Ralph, but also don't like her Lisbon boss. The mama won't let her live her own damn life. If she wants to have a business partner, let her have a business partner. It's wonderful to have a partner. I love working with Chris. It is, you can't do everything by yourself. It's exhausting to try. Drew's crying, you don't see me. You don't see me in what I want. Oh, this script is terrible. So later that night, Drew tell her, man, I think you deserve an early anniversary present and what I'm gonna give you is another woman's puss. I'm glad some of y'all have enjoyed this because I'm not. Todd Tucker, at least I can look at Drew's forehead clearly. We ain't got no baby hairs. But I bet you once she goes les, we gonna start to see those adult contemporaries rear their head on her forehead. Can you make me a promise? Do not let this ruin our marriage. Your marriage is already over. Your mama ruined your marriage. That's who ruined it. It's also giving me a Candace Dillard tea. What are the rules? Well, she said no friends. I don't think he wants any of his boys' bussies. She said, look, get some puss while I'm on this trip, and I don't want to hear shit else. Don't bring home no babies. No sex in the house, and no gifts. Well, I don't know. You want him to get some cheap pussy? This is terrible. It is 7.36 a.m. And the range of emotions me and my bowels are going through right now. It's not fair. It's not fair. And Peacock. Peacock. This is poppycock on Peacock. Candy, I am disappointed in you. She said no five-star hotel, three stars or less. You want him getting big bug bussy. That's what you want. You want him with a cheap hole. What? Now they all leave in the restaurant, all the friends as couples, and somebody's like, yo, yo, Trent, you stole my sister money. Oh, God. Y'all could barely deal with this past plot. Now we've got random violence. This acting is terrible. Oh, my God. Get on me, man. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill that fool. It's really Tyler Perry. This is why you don't film stuff in 10 days. Oh, this is it's bad, y'all. It's bad. It's bad. I could have done this scene better. I might have to start making moves with a better budget or find out how to do it cheap, honey. Y'all spent way too much on hair and makeup. So apparently there was a skirmish and back at the Heezy, the husband's wiping blood off. But he telling Drew, don't worry about it. All right, we're going to do this in three parts. So I'm going a, I'm to a see you for part two pretty soon. Let's get to Housewives of New York. And Candy's speak on it is back up. So I'm going to get to that before she take it down again. We are 30 minutes in. And that's all of this movie I could take. I, I have to spoon feed myself this. I just can't bite into it like a sandwich. So I'm going to see you soon.